camera shake is salt. You should be adding it to your games. Don't believe me? Let's talk about it. Hi, I've been making video games for over 25 years, with many of those years spent working on combat and combat feel. Sometimes I hear players say, I hate camera shake in games. Why isn't there an option to turn it off? For the purposes of today's video, camera shake refers to when the camera moves to add emphasis to actions that the player is taking, or to reflect important events that are happening in the game. I am not referring to camera movement that happens primarily to increase the realism feel of the game, such as the swaying of the boat in Raft, or the camera bobbing up and down to indicate that you're a little bit dizzy. I totally understand why a player might want to turn off camera movements in those latter situations because it makes them feel a little bit motion sick. But camera shake that's in response to player actions? That's really important for making a game feel visceral and satisfying. Camera shake in games is like adding salt to food. In cooking, it's no good when your food tastes salty. Yeah. But that's very different than a pinch of salt being added, which actually brings out the flavor of your food. It's totally reasonable for someone to say, I hate salty food, but properly salted food doesn't taste salty. I'd recommend against telling a chef that you want your meal prepared with no salt at all, you'll get bland food. Similarly in games, players might ask for all camera shake to be turned off, but that's not necessarily what's best for the game. A properly salted game has enough camera shake to add to the visceral impact of your actions without the player ever noticing it's there. The eye perceives the shake and it's interpreted by the brain subconsciously. Sometimes some games have too much camera shake. We can all think of examples of games that have overdone this. Let me show you what some properly salted games look like. Games which are often applauded for having excellent game feel. My first example is Destiny 2. Notice that every time you fire a gun, there's a little bit of camera shake. This actually feels very normal because it's a shooter and guns have recoil. Yes, recoil is part of the gameplay, but it's also a big component of what makes the gun feel like it went off and had a lot of impact. If the camera shake was entirely about recoil, then why is it on the melee attack as well? It's because the camera shake contributes to the attack feeling weighty and meaningful. Here's another example from Cyberpunk 2077. In this case, I'm using a shotgun with smart targeting. The recoil has no meaningful gameplay effect since the recoil is shorter than my fire rate, but the camera shake is absolutely essential in making it feel like the shotgun had weight to it. So maybe you're skeptical. You might be thinking, Wyatt, those are first person shooters. The camera moves because you're looking at the game through a first person perspective. Fair enough. Let's look at another example. Here's Hades, a game similarly applauded for its fantastic moment-to-moment -moment combat. It's also not a game people would name as having annoying amounts of camera shake, because Hades is a well-salted game. Let's play it again in slow motion. The camera shake is there to add impact to every attack that the player makes. In fact, you can see that there are multiple points where there's a small amount of camera shake. Finally, let me show you an example from Marvel Snap. I want to cover games from a totally different genre to show that salting your game with camera shake adds that visceral oomph for a wide variety of camera angles and game genres. Take a look at this clip. Now, since we're talking about camera shake, I'm sure you noticed the camera shake when Deathlock spawns in. But did you see the other camera shake moments that happened afterwards? There's shake again when Wolverine plays his claw effect, which is done for emphasis. There's a little bit of shake later when Wolfsbane spawns in. And finally, there's some camera shake when the rocks from the location fill your deck. 
all of these moments of camera shake add weightiness, impact, and excitement to the game. An unfortunate situation players can find themselves in is if a game offers the option to turn camera shake off. Many players don't realize the importance of these small shakes. They click the option to turn the camera shake off and then wonder, why doesn't combat feel as good? Camera shake can happen on three different axes. Let me illustrate that with this subscribe button. The camera could move up and down, the camera could move left and right, or the camera could rotate. Of these, rotating the camera is the most noticeable to the player and the most likely to cause unwanted disruption for the player, so use this one sparingly. Side-by-side -side motion can be effective but should be used gently. My recommendation is if you're looking to add just a little bit of oomph to your game, stick with vertical axis movement. A little bit of vertical axis movement lasting just a tenth of a second or less, that's it. If players are complaining about your camera shake, you've gone too far. For more tips on implementing camera shake and other elements of general game feel, I have to recommend the seminal talk which is available on YouTube from Vlam Beer called The Art of Screen Shake. I'll put a link to that video in the description below if you want to learn more. Did I convince you that adding just a little bit of camera shake is like adding salt to your food? Let me know in the comments below, and until next time, happy game making.